The past, present, and future of women's hockey meet right here, the inaugural puck drop. Yeah, history was made, and we're making history here. Hockey North, your new one-stop shop for all things women's hockey. I am Rob Pizzo, Soraya Tinker is sitting across from me, and she's got a big smile on her face, much like you did on the panel yesterday for game number one, New York with a 4-0 win over Toronto, the first ever game in PWHL history. We're gonna talk hockey, <laughs> trust me, because we don't want this just to be about the league and everything that goes on with the league. We wanna talk some hockey, but before we do that, Paint me a picture of the atmosphere because I was watching it on TV and I felt it yeah. on my couch. It must have been crazy at Mattamy. I mean, it was absolutely electric. I mean, it was a packed house. What can you ask for more than that? A sold out crowd. Um, so, I mean, there were so many little girls. Obviously, Toronto's a hotbed for women's hockey. So it was amazing to see the little girls in the stands and see a packed full house. <laughs> yeah, and, and just seeing them have somewhere to go now to, to find that hero of theirs. And, and you have to wonder how many people were in that, you know, in that in the stands and those little girls in the stands that are gonna be part of the future of this league. Exactly, and I'm, I think it's so important now that we're all pulling on the same rope in the yeah. same direction uh, so that these girls can make the six figures and be <laughs> these big name professional women's hockey players. Um, and it's so great that they can actually see their dreams in front of them um, and they can believe that they can do it now. All right, let's talk hockey. We saw yes. there the historic first face-off, and I don't know about you, that first period to me felt like the teams were feeling each other out, mixed with a little <laughs> bit of nervousness because of the, you know, the, the magnitude of what was going on. Yep. And then the second period changed everything. And the one thing that jumped out to me, I know it jumped out to you, you talked <laughs> about it on the panel, the physicality. And I remember watching the game thinking, what's going on here? I thought there was no <laughs> body contact in women's hockey. I know the women wanted it, were even you surprised at how physical that game got? Yeah, when I was in Utica for pre-camp, actually, I was having a conversation with Jaina and I was like, wow, there's a lot of body contact, more than we're used to out here. And she made an effort to tell me that the girls asked for this. Um, we wanted refs that are gonna allow us to play to the full potential of our game and play within the rules still, um, but we're allowed to use our bodies and that's what they changed. We're using AHL refs now. Um, they're letting them play and most of the calls yesterday were just stick calls, but I love the body contact, play the body, throw it around. Um, they're big, strong women and I think that that's important to note. Were you surprised at what New York did to Toronto? <laughs> Number one, I mean, they kind of spoiled the party, right? It, it's it's right downtown Toronto in, a, in an historic building, and New York comes out and dominates for most of that game. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we were expecting New York to be more of a quiet team, but be able to pack on the heat when needed. Um, Toronto's obviously used to each other. They've got their national team coach, a lot of national team players, and we expect them to click right off the bat, but New York came out hot, and we knew they were. They've got a really strong defensive core, and they were ready to go yesterday. <laughs> Game of firsts. Of course, you have all the first, the first face-off, the first this, the first that. But of course, you got Ella Shelton, who scored the first goal. Oh, yeah. You and your <laughs> crystal ball somehow called this. You defenders all stick together, don't yes. you? Yeah, the first, you know, the first goal. She also had the first shot on net, by the way, for you trivia buffs out there. Yep. Uh, Kareen Schroeder, the first ever shutout. Uh, a lot of firsts, but a lot of good hockey played. Like I said, the second period really jumped out to me. What jumped out to you individually, maybe a specific player, and then uh, for the game as a whole? Yeah, I mean, Ella Shelton quarterbacked the play the entire game. Um, I knew she was going to come out and be a player to watch for sure. She was Howie Draper's first pick in the first round, um, fourth overall. So, I mean, in that sense, she was definitely ready to lead the play. And that's exactly what she did with that first goal. Um, I'm super happy I predicted that. But uh, at the same time, we can count on Ella to get goals like that. Uh, we saw her in rivalry series. She scored a beautiful goal top shelf. Um, on Team USA, and I think she's gonna continue to be a force this season, especially with her D partner, Jamie Bourbonnet as well. Um, they are stacked on the back end. <laughs> you mentioned the rivalry series. I, I look at any time you don't have a lot of teams, you only have six teams. We're going to see rivalries just naturally come out. And, and that's what I'm looking forward to. The first game was all smiles, hugs, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it right afterwards. You don't see it very often, two teams coming together at Sunrise for a picture. I understand it. 
Are you looking forward to see maybe a game go over the line and two teams really start to hate each other where you circle that game on the uh, on the calendar? Oh yeah, for sure. Especially with the level of physicality that they're letting them play with. I think we're going to see things get really chippy. And although a lot of us are friends off the ice and a lot of the girls love to play against each other, they're enemies when they're playing against each other in different jerseys. Um, and I mean, it's a great hockey to watch and I'm right, waiting for who's going to throw the first punch, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything surprise you in game one? Um, honestly, I was just so surprised with how organized and professional everything was. We're not used to that as female hockey players yeah. and me being on the other side of things now, it was so great to have an outside perspective and just watch everything play out um, exactly how it was supposed to. Everything was so professional um, and, is, and it's exactly what we've been asking for. One game in the books. It was an historic one. 70 more to come, including 17 on CBC. This Saturday, Montreal at Minnesota, 3.30 Eastern time. We are going to have you covered right until the end of the season on Hockey North, so come back each and every week. Thanks so much for doing this. Awesome, thank you.